Hello, it is that time once again. It is time for the February Retro Treasure Box. It has arrived. Packed full of goodness. Let's jump right into it. Uh, probably should have made sure I had my knife before I started. Fortunately, I found it. Yeah, here we go. Once again, pardon the weird angle on the camera. It was in the way kind of thing for how I need to shoot this. Because again, I still don't have a good point set up for all this stuff. So, um, as always, we're going to do our fun little thing where we're going to reach our hand inside here and first pull out the bubble wrap. And then we're going to feel inside and we're going to try and figure out what we got before we actually look at anything. Uh, there's a DS cartridge in here. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and it is a DS, it's not a 3DS. I can tell you that much. It's just a DS cartridge. And there's at least three, two sealed games? Nope. There's five games total in here. There's one in one of those really skinny jewel cases again, which means it doesn't have the original artwork. Um, we got two Xbox One sized cases and then a full DVD size, and they're all sealed. I think fairly sure. Where'd the DS cartridge go? I lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's begin. What do we have first? Ah! We have the Brain Age Academy. Yeah. That was fun. I, I used to have this back in the day. It's, it's a fun little game. Uh, it, I, I enjoy Sudoku a lot. I still play Sudoku on my phone now all, uh, quite often. Almost daily, actually. Uh, we have a thing. Uh, cover number 22. I don't think I've seen this cover before. Uh, what do we have in this one? Ooh, it's game Ooh, GameCube. Star Wars Rebel Strike. Rogue, basically Rogue Squadron 3. That's kind of cool. Let's see how the disc looks. Because the front of the disc actually doesn't look great, to be honest. There's definitely some scratching on the label side, which is never a good thing. Uh, a lot of the disc looks fine, though. Maybe we'll pop that in the GameCube later and make sure it actually works. Sucks that it doesn't have the original case, though. But yeah, Rebel Strike. Good game. Turn that the right way up so you guys can read that properly. Uh, Alright, so our first sealed Xbox size game. And again, I'm fairly certain it is an Xbox one case. Ooh. The Raven Remastered. Sealed copy. Xbox One. Heard good things about this one. I think it's like one of those like Telltale style games, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's like a oh, is this a wait, is this based on a doesn't say, but the one character on the back kind of looks like Hercule Poirot from like the Agatha Christie books. Interesting. I'll have to look into that some more. Very curious, very curious. What else we got? This one might be a PlayStation 4 title. It is. <laughs> Rage 2. Never played the Rage games. Don't know anything about them, to be honest. And we've got another game, which... You know what? Now that I feel it again, I don't think it's sealed. But it's a full... Yeah, it's not sealed. It's PS2. It's ATV Off-Road Fury. And it is complete. It's got everything. Disc is in pretty good shape. Got the proper case and sleeve for the greatest hits title, too. So there you go. Boom, boom. And boom. 
So five games this month. That's interesting. Now, if I remember correctly, last month we came up a little short. But, as always, we do our investigations into the pricing. So let's do it in the order we pulled them out. So first we got Brain Age. Brain Age, Nintendo DS. It's just the loose cartridge. It is worth $3.58. By the way, I should mention, and I might have mentioned this in the previous video, I recently realized that uh, all the pricing on here is in US dollars, which is fine because I pay for this in US dollars and the $35 value is US dollars. So that is ideally what we're targeting. Um, but obviously I live in Canada, so for actual resale value to me, to what it should actually be worth, I noticed at the top, I didn't notice this until more recently, there is a thing to change it to Canadian dollars. So like, for example, this one is 358 American for loose, which is about 485, uh, trending about 485 Canadian. So, um, but again, I digress. So Brain Age 358 for the loose cartridge. And then we had um, Star Wars Rebel Strike uh, for GameCube. And again, it's just the loose cartridge. Uh, and that's worth eleven ninety eight. So we're not too bad off for only two games in, especially with what that so then uh, we had the raven remastered for xbox one and a new sealed copy is 9.99 apparently which honestly kind of makes sense uh, I don't think it was an overly expensive game to begin with, but I'm pretty sure it's like episodic, kind of like the Telltale games. I'm pretty sure the first episode's free anyways, and I might already have the first episode, but I've never played it. Uh, and then we had Rage 2 for PS4. Rage 2 PS4. And it is a sealed copy, and it's worth less than the Raven. It's and even less than the GameCube game, only six seventy four. So let's quickly see where we're at with this, because I'm curious. Three fifty eight plus eleven ninety eight plus nine ninety nine plus six seventy four. Okay, so not bad. We're already at 32.29. We haven't even checked the last game yet. So, we might be okay. Uh, so, ATV uh, Road Fury. And this is for PlayStation 2, but it's the Greatest Hits version. And it's complete. Oh, wait, that's number two, though. Hang on. Uh... Here we go. ATV Off-Road Fury Grace Hits version complete is 666. So that does put us over our $35. Uh, what's the exact total here? 358 plus 1198. Plus nine ninety nine. Okay, I found this on the web for ATV Off Road Fury Greatest Hits version complete a six hundred sixty six slash thirty five dollar sign. What's the exact order? S Check it out. Siri, cancel. I don't know why my iPad has been doing that a lot lately, 
where it like apparently hears me ask it a question and thinks I said its name. And I don't know why, because clearly I'm not saying that name, but for some reason it keeps thinking I'm saying the name. Scared the crap out of me. Uh, yeah, so we're at 38.95. So yeah, there you go. A good, another good haul this month. Definitely got our money's worth on this one. Some good games too. Like uh, again, uh, Brain Age was fantastic. I used to have it before, so it's kind of cool to have it again. I'm probably I'm actually gonna keep this one. Um, Rebel Strike, the Star Wars games, the Rogue Squadron uh, Star Wars games are always fantastic. They're always a lot of fun. Um, I, I never played the ATV games. Uh, I know they were good. I don't have a PS2 to even play this on, anyways. But that's kind of cool. This one looks interesting for sure. Always great when you get sealed brand new games. Period. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we got our money's worth today. And honestly, more often than not, you're gonna. Which is pretty cool. So, uh, I'll say the same thing I always say. If you're interested in getting these things for yourself, um, I, I'm paying monthly. Which is actually the most expensive way to pay for them. Um, you can pay, like I think there's like a six month and a 12 month option as well there might even be a three month option and with each option it does get a little bit cheaper um per box um but i'm paying every month which means i'm paying the most expensive option which is 35 dollars us a month there is shipping involved and obviously canadian dollar sucks so it does actually cost me more than i probably should be spending on this sort of thing but honestly i i just have so much fun with it I, it's really cool seeing some of these games come in every month and uh and uh yeah like it's it's you know it's more games being added to my collection which is really really cool if you are interested in getting it the link is below in the link tree and it will also be of course in the description um check it out click on the link and uh sign up um the cool thing too is again if you do the whole thing you put in all your preferences, put what games you already have, etc, etc. You'll never get a game duplicate. You'll never get a game you don't want. Um, you know, just like, again, like, and here's the thing. The surest way to make sure you don't get something you don't want, tell them you already have it, right? Um, you know, if, if you don't want ATV Off-Road Fury, for example, just tell them you already have it. They won't send it to you if you already have it. Um, they check your list, they make sure they're always pulling from titles you don't have uh, that match the criteria. My criteria is pretty wide open. Um, now you probably noticed too, I always only get North American versions. Um, you can get imports as well, if you're into imports and stuff like that. They do have imports as well. They have pretty much every system, uh, more or less, DS, 3DS. Uh, uh, uh all, all the nintendo systems up to i believe the wii uh all the playstation systems up until ps4 all the xbox systems up until xbox one um pretty much all the sega systems um game gear you know even i think they even have like atari games if i remember correctly here into like the old atari 2600 they might even have ColecoVision too i don't remember it's been a while since i've looked but there's tons of options. Great way to build your retro collection. Uh, help you hunt down stuff. And um, they're always the authentic games too. Um, they actually do check to make sure that they're not selling you like repo uh, reproduction cartridges or anything like that. So you're always getting the legitimate versions of the games and so forth. No weird... Uh, remake copies or whatever that a lot of people try to scam you with these days which is really cool um so yeah good stuff overall uh i highly recommend it if you're into retro gaming or if you're looking to build a collection or any sort of thing like that even if you're just like, trying to fill out your your ps4 xbox one collection still i mean 
what a great way to do it. I mean, they've even got those games. If you're into the older stuff, having trouble finding some N64 games. They do have a couple games on their list of games they will never make available. For example, if the only game you're missing from your N64 collection is Superman 64, <laughs> you ain't getting it from them. Um, so, it is what it is. But still, tons of great great uh, stuff. You've seen the stuff I get on a regular basis. You can go back and watch all the videos I have. Like Every single unboxing video I've done is up on YouTube. You can check them out, and they'll keep going up on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, um, uh, by the time you see this, it should be fixed, and hopefully it's fixed sooner rather than later. As it stands, as of recording today, it is February 22nd, and they, we've gone about a week without any new videos on YouTube. I've just been really busy and so forth, not having a lot of time to do editing and get stuff actually uploaded and whatnot. I have still been recording content and so forth, so there is tons of content coming. But one of the things I'm trying to do is make sure that these videos, the unboxing videos from this retro game treasure, start getting posted within because like again this is the february box they always come around the end of the month that hopefully by the first of the next month we're posting the video so for example uh hopefully you're seeing this video by march 1st um on youtube um and that means hopefully the previous videos have also been posted because I think the last one that was posted was December's. So January still has to go up too. But Jan so we're going to put that up. We're going to get that all up. We're going to try to get that all up. And uh, and then we'll just fill in between. But the we're going to leave the first of each month. The idea is to leave the first of each month open on YouTube for these videos so that it becomes a normal thing where if this is the only type of videos you watch, because these are by far my most watched videos, um, on average anyways, uh, if this if this is the only content you come to my channel for, and that's fine if it is, um, you'll know when they're happening. It's gonna be, the plan will be that it's going to be the first of every month, hopefully. Um, that's, that's the plan. Hopefully we'll get to that point where that becomes a, a regular thing. Um, but it's going to take some time. Hopefully over the next couple days, uh, I can get some of this more sorted out and ready to go. Um, but that's it for this video. I'm done. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like, thumbs up, uh, leave a nice comment below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, Again, check out the link tree for all the other links. The website I use for checking prices will be in the description below as well. Um, the, obviously, the link again to the Retro Game Treasure for this is there. Check it all out. Um, and feel, please check me out also on Twitch, which I've been doing a lot more of uh, recently, as well as my Twitter. Give us a subscribe or follow and all that on those things as well. It'd be much, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye for now.